I found a little bug in the Brave browser. Now I'm over here trying to download a ROM for my Raspberry Pi and they have torrents here. So I could just come here and I could click on one of these to start downloading. And it's really cool that actually Brave builds in a web torrent into the browser. I'm not sure that I didn't open up. I'm just gonna refresh this to get this going. Okay, you can see here that this is using web torrent. Uh, so I could actually start the torrent right from my browser and I don't need a separate client to do it. But if I click on this, you see that nothing actually happens. There's no peers seeding, uh, nothing's actually downloading. Um, this is a really cool project. I don't know if this is WebTorrent's fault. So check this, this project out. It's an open source project. Um, it's really neat. Um, but one thing that I found on the Brave community forums is that other people are having this uh, problem in the newer versions of Brave. So it seems to be introduced somewhere around 1.32. So other people are noticing it. I've actually posted on here as well. So reverting to an older version actually does fix this for me. So what you can do is go to your terminal and you can do an apt cache policy on Brave Browser to see older versions of this. And let me make this a little smaller so you can actually see this better. So you can see here, there's a bunch of older versions. So let's grab a version before th uh, 3.2 here. So let's grab 1.31.91. Copy this. And then let's just do a sudo apt install Brave Browser and let's set the Brave Browser equal to that version. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it. And I'll press enter. And I'll say Y for yes. Now, hopefully this isn't an issue that you'll have to experience for very long. I'm hoping this will be fixed in recent uh, releases that come out pretty soon. But in case you run into this for now and you really want to use this without downloading a separate client for torrents, this maybe is a, a quick fix for you to get up and running. So once that's going, I can come back to my browser here. Let me just close out and let me start it up again. It should retain my tabs that I had open there, which is great. And I'm just going to come here to the right hand panel and I'm going to go to about brave. And you can see now I'm on an older version here. That's the version that we picked here. And if I come back here and I refresh this page, and now when I click Start Torrent, you can see that it actually is doing some downloading here. So it's working again. Hopefully that helps you out. And if you're interested in this kind of content, stay tuned to our channel for more of it in the future. Thanks.